Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you determine the balanced equation for this reaction. Here we have NaOH and HCl on the reactant side and NaCl and H2O on the product side. To find out the balanced equation for this reaction, we first need to find out the number of atoms on both reactant side and product side individually because it helps us to un because it helps us to understand uh, the coefficients that we need to put on both the sides to balance this equation. Here we have one sodium atom on the reactant side. That we have one oxygen atom on the reactant side. For hydrogen, it is 1 plus 1, 2. And chlorine atoms, we have one on the reactant side. When you move forward to the product side, we have one sodium atom, one oxygen atom, two hydrogen atoms, and one chlorine atom. So if you look at the number of atoms on both reactant and product side, this equation is already balanced. Now what happens usually is people forget about adding this hydrogen atom over here and they just write one hydrogen atom and it messes up the entire equation. So ensure to count the number of atoms on both reactant and product side and I'm sure you'll be able to balance any equation with ease. And for more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules make sure to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching